Hello, this is a video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera, which we recently purchased on Amazon. We're around $29.99. This is the Polaroid ID757. You can see it right here. We are recording with this camera right here, the Polaroid ID757. Dustproof, it has a glass, uh, plastic glass covering over the lens to prevent the lens from attracting fingerprints, dust, dirt, etc., which is really cool. Supposedly waterproof three feet. Also very cool, it means it's raining right now a little bit and I still have the camera. There's no underwater housing, so it's dustproof and don't know if I'm going to fully submerge this camera in the water. But definitely for a light drizzle, I'm okay with having this camera without any sort of housing and there is no housing included. Again, here it is, just this camera, this dustproof Polaroid ID757 action camera that we're recording with right now. This is going to be an extended video test. We have only one video resolution setting, so just keep in mind that this isn't this type of expensive uh, action camera with lots of features, resolution, things like that. This is just photos and videos, and you've got one resolution setting. We are just here right now, Sunday, November. 6, November 6th with the Polaroid ID757. Here it is. We are recording with this camera right now outside. <clears throat> so what can I say about this camera? Really cool that it is dustproof. Just keep in mind that this is not a high resolution stabilized camera. There's no image stabilization here. So as with a lot of cheap action cameras, I highly recommend that you just keep the camera very still. If you're filming, maybe put it on a, on a surface so that it's not moving because otherwise the, the, it might look a little bit blurry uh, and not very smooth. So those are my tips for using a cheap action camera. If you don't have image stabilization, just I, I would just keep it on a surface or move it very slowly. Also try filming underwater if you can, but not necessarily with this camera. I just I tend to be a little bit wary, a little bit cautious with a camera that doesn't have underwater housing because the underwater housing really does protect the camera a lot. Whereas here, we're just relying on what the manufacturer says, oh, it's waterproof up to three feet, or a oh, waterproof with no uh, underwater housing, but the thing is that, like, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm just very careful if I don't have underwater housing because there's really no, nothing here. I mean, there's, there's like, there's no additional protection. There's, we have the, um, we have the, the, the cover for the USB port and the micro SD card. It's very sturdy, but at the same time, I don't know if water can get in there. Maybe, maybe not. So that's all I'm going to say. So this is, again, the Polaroid ID757 action camera. We're just outside to do an extended video test. There's only one resolution setting. It's not, um, you don't have different uh, settings for, like, um, HD, I mean a 4K or 60 frames, 120 frames, etc. You just have one setting and if you go to the settings menu, there's really, it just shows you that there's no option to change your uh, video resolution. So you have one setting and that's it, which is okay, it's, it's simple. But again, this is a, this is a cheap uh, camera, so it's not surprising that you you will find fewer settings with uh, cheaper cheaper action cameras. Again, this is an extended video test with the Polaroid ID757. Just a little bit cloudy here uh, uh, with cheap action cameras, especially. I do recommend filming in um, sunnier conditions because. For, for whatever reason, some of these cheap cameras, they don't film very well in low lighting, which is sort of the case here. You can see it's cloudy. But sometimes it will give us the opportunity to see if, if the camera will film well in low lighting. Again, no stabilization here, so if I'm shaking the camera a little bit, I do apologize for that. This is the Polaroid ID757 camera dustproof. So what that is, is that means that you can put it in your pocket, you can easily wipe any dirt, any dust off of the lens, and it's not going to damage the lens in any way. There's this glass covering. So Polaroid ID757, very excited to test this camera right now to see what the video quality will look like. Keep in mind this is what 
what you think of the video quality. I'm not going to tell you, oh, it's a great camera, you have to buy it. All I'm doing is recording the video and posting it to YouTube for you to see uh, without editing the video at all. This is just a clip recorded with the Polaroid ID757. You also have photos, photo feature, as well as a as well as a video feature, but no stabilization as I mentioned earlier, which is okay. $29.99 is what we purchased it for. Maybe there are more expensive Polaroid action cameras. I didn't know that Polaroid made action cameras to begin with, so this is kind of cool. I always like a dustproof camera because I like to be able to put the camera in my pocket and not have to worry about the lens getting very dirty and then having to clean the lens. So again, Polaroid ID757. How well can you hear me right now? It's drizzling a little bit, but we've got the dustproof design, the, the waterproof design, so not going to submerge the camera underwater, but I'm very comfortable with having it here in, in the light rain. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. This is a video recording test. Only one resolution. I think it's 720p, and you can decide for yourself if you think the video quality looks good.